We all are losing our connectivity. We all are losing out on making special memories. And most importantly, we all are abandoning spending time on things that actually and truly matter. It pains me to say this, but when I walk into a school, a coffee shop, an event, pretty much anywhere, we all are so close to each other, but at the same time, so, so very far apart. And why, you're asking? Because people are putting their studies, their work life, pretty much everything over personal connection. It seems such a shame that more and more people are abandoning traditions in craving of materialistic items and are more interested in being glued to their screens, creating meaningless relationships with faceless people. With modern day distractions and pressures on time, it is so easy to forgo and trivialize family traditions. But have we actually ever considered what we are missing out on? The imbibed values inculcated by simple traditions in life shape you and your future lineage. And if our future is anywhere near to how we as a society are living today, then I, Himakshi Shastri, am truly and truly ashamed because we may be having artificial intelligence being developed. We may be having flying cars being created. We could have the iPhone 20 coming out tomorrow for all I care. But really, none of that, and I mean none of that, is worth the amount of knowledge, love, and power you gain just by speaking and spending time with your own family. The ones who used to dress you up in those cutest but most ridiculous costumes when you were younger. The ones who would cheer you up when that random kid on the playground was being mean to you. And of course, the ones who would sacrifice their time to read you stories even though they had an incredibly tiring day of work. And why? just to make sure that you never gave up on your hope and imagination hidden inside of you. Magical, right? But trust me, we do not have to give up on this magic. It may take some time to create it, and it may also take some time to actually practice maintaining it. But if you make it your number one priority, then no one and absolutely no one can stop you from continuing your family traditions. For example, in my family, we have something called a gratitude jar. Every week on Friday, we put one note in the jar of something we are grateful for. And when you read these notes when you're upset or at the end of the year, Trust me, you feel so happy and grateful about the smallest of the smallest things in life. One family tradition and automatically boosted mental health. Another family tradition we have is spending as much time with our grandparents as possible. In fact, I consider myself as super duper lucky as I have both of my amazing maternal grandparents living here and in the UAE. And by having them by my side, I want to make sure that I'm spending as much time with them as possible. Our grandparents can pass down words of wisdom, which can never be learned from any books or encyclopedias. They have seen a lot, done a lot, and definitely lived a lot. And by listening and hearing their real life experiences and journeys, we as children can flourish our knowledge thoroughly. Um, I, for example, my grandfather always tells me how when he was younger, he had such a lovely sense of freedom, despite having no access to internet and social media. <gasps> Everyone should start gasping all of a sudden, how did people live without the internet? But they did, and if I'm being honest, they lived more happily than we can ever live today. If we want to actually follow today's theme 
of our TEDx event, which is Back to the Future, then don't make fun of old school traditions, but start adapting them so they can be our source of inspiration for our own future. And not only our own future, but the future of our children, your grandchildren. I, for a fact, am also very passionate about saving our environment. And again, during my grandparents' times, their lives were so organic and fresh, not influenced by these big, big factories being built everywhere. And maybe yet again in the future, we do need factories. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? But just the simple actions they adapted into their daily lifestyles like growing their fresh owned foods or walking and cycling to places. These are the types of actions we need to take along with us and that too urgently. We need to take a step back, cherish our family traditions and continue using them as a source of inspiration for our own future. Now, this may sound funny coming from a young 13 year old girl who you probably haven't met before. But everyone, can we please stop acting less like zombies and more like responsible human beings? We need to stop just looking at our screens and look at the world around us. Because the world, the world is so beautiful. And families, families are the compasses that guide us. They are our inspiration that help us reach heights and our comfort when we occasionally falter. So, what is the point of my TEDx talk today? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's go back, cherish our family traditions, and continue using them as a source of inspiration for our own future. Being a student myself, I can understand that we all have work, we all have tests, we all have projects, we all have assignments, but don't let this prioritize your family, your loved ones, and concerning issues the globe is currently dealing with. I've made a gratitude jar. I try and spend as much time with my grandparents as possible. I try and have at least one family outing once a week. These are my family traditions, which not to brag, I feel are way cooler than Fortnite or any other gaming apps out there. These traditions spark a sense of love, hope, and unity in my life. And experiencing something as wonderful and magical as this is not only something I want to do, but want to get others to feel as well. So let's not abandon traditions, but let's take them. Take them into our path that it's sculpting its way into our beautiful, beautiful future. Thank you.